In the heart of the forsaken coal pit, a chilling silence hung heavy in the stale air. The pit, abandoned for decades, had become a place whispered about only in fearful tones. Local legends spoke of a restless spirit haunting its depths, and as I ventured deeper into the darkness, I felt an eerie presence closing in. My footsteps echoed off the damp, moss-covered walls as I followed the narrow tunnel into the abyss. The coal dust, thick and suffocating, clung to my skin like a shroud. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. It was as if the very walls themselves held secrets, secrets they were determined to keep. As I descended further, the temperature dropped, and a chill seeped into my bones. My flashlight flickered ominously, casting eerie shadows on the cavern walls. Goosebumps danced along my skin, and I knew I was not alone. The ghostly presence grew stronger, and I began to hear faint whispers, like a chorus of mournful souls. Suddenly, a figure materialized in front of me, its form shrouded in darkness. It seemed to be a miner, clad in tattered, soot-stained clothes, and a flickering lantern hung from his bony hand. His face, gaunt and pale, bore the anguish of a thousand lost souls. His hollow eyes stared into mine, and I felt a deep, soul-piercing sadness emanating from him. The apparition raised a skeletal finger and pointed further into the pit. With a voice as cold as the grave, he whispered, Beware the depths, for they hold a darkness far greater than you can imagine. I followed his spectral guidance deeper into the pit, my heart pounding in my chest. The tunnels twisted and turned like a labyrinth, and I could feel the weight of the earth pressing down on me. The whispers grew louder, a cacophony of voices pleading for release from their eternal torment. Then, I stumbled upon a hidden chamber, its walls adorned with crude drawings. They depicted the miners toiling away, their faces twisted in agony. In the center of the chamber, a massive boulder blocked an exit. As I approached, the boulder shifted, revealing a narrow passage leading even deeper into the pit. With trembling hands, I entered the passage, guided by an irresistible force. The walls seemed to pulse with malevolent energy, and the whispers became a deafening roar. I was no longer in control of my own destiny. I was a pawn in a game played by forces beyond my comprehension. Finally, I reached the heart of the pit, a cavern so vast it seemed bottomless. I, in its depths, I saw a towering figure, neither alive nor dead, but something in between. It was the embodiment of the darkness that had consumed this place, a malevolent force born from the suffering of generations of miners. As I gazed into its abyssal eyes, I understood the true horror of this place. It hungered for souls, and I had unwittingly delivered myself to it. The ghostly miner's warning echoed in my mind, but it was too late. The darkness enveloped me, and I became just another lost soul in the haunted pit.